Hello little ones, how are you today? Well, today we're going to read another story from this book, Curious George's 5 Minute Stories. And this story is about George and a bunny. So we're going to find out what George is going to be doing with the bunny. I'm taking out my bookmark. Those of you who like uh, to have a bookmark, uh, one of these uh, middle bookmarks, please go check out the links below. There you will see a Facebook page that is for Lola's Enchanted Bookshelf. You can message me through there. Um, for any questions, you can also um, order from there or you can order from my business bookstore on my business page because uh, a lot of times I have things that do relate to some of the books that I do read. So check out those links below. Please make sure that you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would greatly appreciate it and I would greatly appreciate it if you also shared this YouTube channel with other people you know who have children around them that would like to watch um, story time. So let's read about Curious George and the Bunny. This is George. George was a good little monkey and always was very curious. One day George found a little house. Inside was a big white bunny and lots of little bunnies. George looked and looked. Bunnies were something new to him. He wondered what it would feel like to hold one. The big bunny was Mother Bunny. She was as big as George, but the little bunnies were so little that George could hold them in his hand. He could get, how could he get a bunny out of the house? A house must have a door to get in and get out. Oh, there it was. George put his hand in, took out a baby bunny. It was fun to hold a baby bunny. And the bunny did not seem to mind. So he found the door to open up and he's taking out one of those bunnies. Now he had he and the bunny could play a game in the garden. They could play get the bunny. George would let the bunny hop away and then he would run after it and let it back and get it back. He put the bunny down, but the bunny ran off like a shot. Where did the bunny go? So, but you know, I play hide and go seek a lot of times, and you got somebody counting, and you're going, one, two, three, right? While the rest of you go hide. That's what he and the bunny's doing, they're playing hide and go seek. George looked and looked, but the bunny was gone. All of the fun was gone, too. George was sad. Now, he could not put the bunny back in the house with Mother Bunny. Why, that was it. George had an idea. Mother Bunny could help him. All he needed was a bit of string. He ran to the bunny house and tied the string to the Mother Bunny. She knew what to do. Away she went with her head down and her ears up. All George had, could do was to hold on tight and run. George followed Mother Bunny. Soon she saw something. George saw it too. What do you think they saw? They're looking for the bunny, so what do you think they saw? You think they saw the bunny? Let's find out on the next page. George and Mother Bunny ran and ran, and then Mother Bunny sat down. George saw the baby bunny's tail poking out in the hole. There's the baby bunny's. There's his tail poking out in the hole underneath that tree. A bunny likes to dig a hole and then go down and lie in it. But this bunny was too little to live in a hole. It belonged in a bunny house, and it was where George took it. The baby bunny followed his mother all the way home. George didn't even have to tie a string on it. When they returned to the bunny house, 
Mother Bunny and all the little baby bunnies lay down to sleep. George was glad to see Mother Bunny and all her babies safe and sound. Good night, bunnies. They're going to go night night. I know some of you um, have sometimes mommies, daddy, sometimes grandmas and grandpas or aunts and uncles, whoever. Sometimes you have somebody read a story to you before you, right before you go to bed. So, all the bunnies are going night night. So what did the two of them play in the beginning? They played what? Hide and go seek, right? I know some of you play hide and go seek. Lots of children play hide and go seek. Alright, so if you like Curious George and you like all the stories that he likes, these are just some of the stories of Curious George. There's tons more. This is written by Margaret and H.A. Rays, and the publisher is Hofton uh, Mufflin... Court. And if you would like me to read any story, please go to the Facebook channel of the YouTube channel and you can message me through there of what story you would like me to read. Please tell me the author, the illustrator, the publishers, as well as the title of the book. And if I am allowed to read it, I'll give a shout out to the child that you would like me to give a shout out to on the video that I do read the book. Um, some books I cannot read as the publishers or illustrators and, and or writers will not allow me to read their books. So um, please let me know. Please like, subscribe to this YouTube channel. I would appreciate it. Check out the links below. Bye now.